Utah, there was a good day for bird watching, but for bird watchers in the city, they were grieving the loss of Flacco the owl. He became a beloved icon around the world after escaping from the Central Park Zoo a year ago. Flacco reportedly died after flying into a building on the Upper West Side. But as Fox 5's Ashley Rodriguez tells us, the community that followed his every move believe there may have been more to the story here. An outpouring of grief around the world over the death of Flacco the owl. News of the Eurasian Eagle Owl's passing Friday spread fast amongst saddened bird watchers who built a community around catching a glimpse of him flying around the city. I felt like I was going to a funeral this morning. I mean, I really, I did. I wore my Sunday best. I went over to the memorial. I left roses. Brianne Delgado remembers when Flacco flew out of his Central Park Zoo habitat last February after someone vandalized the exhibit and cut the stainless steel mesh. No arrests were ever made, and the investigation is ongoing. The Wildlife Conservation Society frequently attempted and failed to recapture Flacco. His fan base, though, grew, with people sharing pictures of his comings and goings from atop buildings and windowsills all over Manhattan and back to Central Park, his home, where he would hunt rats and rest. I can't tell you how many people while I was here this summer would say they, they traveled on vacation to come here and see him, people from not just the United States, but, you know, Europe. Flacco touched a lot of people who initially thought he'd never survive on his own in the wild. Instead, he flourished, yet never going too far. As time marched on, he seemed to grow more interested in watching the humans who had become obsessed with watching him. Ultimately, he was a symbol of freedom and showing just the world that it's safe to break out of your cage. And towards the end of his life, he was actually watching us in our cages. Avid Flacco fans are questioning his death. They say he knew the area well, and days before his death, he had gone silent. That's why they're looking forward to the results of the Bronx Zoo's necropsy to tell them if he had fallen ill. We simply don't know right now. All we know is that Flacco has died, and it's an incredibly sad event. Ashley Rodriguez. Fox 5 News.